What's up guys? This is hole number five. Gonna take a look at this one. See just a mild tailwind here. A little bit on the smaller side. So what, one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna try to land here. Just let this roll out and hopefully get this up to wedge range. Because that's one thing we weren't able to do with our last playthrough. So I just wanted to kind of sh show you guys the power of the uh, special balls. And well, in this case, it was really just the wind more so than anything. I could have got a Pro D1 up to wedge range. But what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to, you know, bring this in with a little bit more control on the approach. So here you can see, and we, we actually ended up needing this ball because without this ball, um, we wouldn't be able to, with the second win that we're getting, we're gonna need to come at this this way. And you can see, we'll have to go 10 rings. So we'll need to make sure that we're setting up. So if this is five, this is 10 rings. So we need to make sure that we have those 10 rings. And keep it in mind that this ball guide is gonna collapse down, so I may Keep this through the hole a little bit. And we'll just try to master a spin in the event that we kind of lip this out. We just want it to try to come back in the back door. So I'm thinking somewhere around the, the looks of this and we're gonna go 975, but see, look at what I'm doing with that ball guide because it's really gonna collapse down. especially towards max club. So 975 here, somewhere right around here. And you can really see my precise counting in these videos. So that's one of the biggest uses for the grid is as a learning tool for you guys, because you can really see the way that I'm precision counting. Makes it a little bit more visual. And here's the you can see how much the ball guy did shrink down just like I said it would and like I said we were trying to create that angle to where it was going to shoot straight back in and that's exactly what we what we did so on two we failed um, at doing that but you can see on five we were able to get it that way so as you can see much more effective um, you know on that one but that's what you want to always be factoring in is you want to to really try to improve on your abilities and um, you know even though that's only the second time that I've seen that pin uh, you know I can just kind of use my ball guide to my advantage and know how much it's going to compress down and what angle it's going to come back at and that's what you're going to want to try to study about this game so good luck with that I'll see you guys on the next one